Hey everyone, so today we have here another MacBook in for repair. I'm not sure if it's liquid spill this time. I don't know if it is. Probably is, right? Because if they don't turn on, they usually don't go bad themselves, right? But we don't know. Who knows? This one's just not powering on. It's a A1466. This one's a 2015 model. Usually the ones around 2013 through 2017 are about the same. Even the boards are very similar. Um, in most cases, parts are very interchangeable. If you looked at any of our other past videos, we've done a lot of these ones before. They're still very popular model. They're still very nice. They're very light weight. They're very thin. Still very nice models. So let's go ahead and see exactly really what the issue is. This one's in here for repair. Uh, it's not turning on. Uh, there's no indication, at least from the customer, that there was any liquids or anything else like that. But again, if it's in here and it's not powering on, usually that's the case or something else really went bad. Maybe a phone went bad or something like that. But let's go ahead and see. But there's a little bit of a stain here. And that's at least an indication that at least in the back of my head I'm thinking, well, it's probably some type of liquid spill or anything else like that. So um, I don't really want to plug it in, especially if there's any liquid spill. So let's go ahead and unplug it. And let's see if this has gotten impacted too because the SSD is right there. SSD looks pretty good here. At least the connection looks to be pretty good, which is good. Let's go ahead and just take it out. Might as well just take it completely out and see how it's going to show if there's any liquid or anything else like that. So let's be right back and we'll take a look at that. So we're looking at this. We did take it up. I don't really see any liquid or any corrosion or anything on here. It looks pretty clean. The best thing to do would be at least to plug it in first and to see if there is what the issue is, right? We want to do that because we want to see if there's any corrosion on this side, right? Because this is where you would probably think it would probably be like around here, this area. But it looks pretty clean. So it looks just very dusty, kind of dirty. So let's go ahead and at least plug it in and see if we get anything. So we do have orange light and we have no fan spin. Processor is completely dead. It's not getting heat or anything. Now we need to go ahead and investigate. See if there's anything really getting warm on here. Or is anything else? I feel actually it is getting pretty warm in this area over here. We can go ahead and take a look and see. Sometimes over here, this is close to where the battery connection is. That's it. Ooh, man, that actually burned me. All right, so let's go ahead and see which one it is and what is the problem here. I want to see where it's getting hot here. So if we plug it in, we can we will be able to see where uh, exactly it's getting hot. But you're like, well, how would you really know? Because uh, if you do just feel here, you're not going to be able to feel exactly which one, or maybe you feel with one of your fingers, but there could be heat coming from another component or it could be something else. Well, there's a trick we can do, and we actually did do this one actually on a very similar component before in one of our previous videos, and it's a nice little trick. A short inner component, it also likes to bite too. Woo, man, it is hot over there, believe me if I tell you that. So watch this. So if we get, get a little alcohol, even though it's on right now, we're going to go spray it, and we're going to go see... Um, where it is getting hot uh, you can also use a thermal cam if we get one of those and i think we might do that soon we can show you guys but let's see how it's going to go oh man you can see that middle one right that is pulsating you see that how it dried around the rest of it and how it's still uh, the other ones are still a uh, liquid right so that's your pretty much your obvious candidate that one in the middle there so let's go ahead and unplug it and you can see it's the watch and then when i plug it back in You're going to see that. So this is while it's plugged in. And you can see how the middle one, how completely dry it is. We definitely do see the, the component there. Let's go ahead and take a look. You can see that this is on the PBV battery G3 hot rail. And you can see it is one of the capacitors that go on it. C for capacitor, right? So this makes sense because this is exactly what the board view is talking about. And it also makes sense because look how close it is to the battery connection. So we need to replace that middle one and we need to have the exact same same one and of course since we are a repair shop we do have the exact same component here and what we're going to do is just remove this one and then put in another one so let's go ahead and do that right now So here's our new cap. This is the C7141. We're just going to be doing a replacement with this one here. Uh, 
All right, so let's go see if it worked. We did replace the C7141, that bad cap, the replacement one that we had here. And let's go see if it'll work. So you can see a lovely fan spin, orange light. Looks to be good. Processes get warm and everything looks to be good. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a like if you really did. Please subscribe for more content. We do lots of MacBook Pro repairs. We also do lots of MacBook Airs. We do M1s. We also did do like a lot of, uh, we did a liquid spill before. If you want to go check out the M1, it's a brand new one that actually did come out. So go ahead, check that out if you really enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content. We'll see you in the next one and I hope you guys enjoy. Bye.